Streets. We begin tonight with chilling new details about the 15 year old now charged as an adult in a deadly mass shooting at a Michigan high school. Police say Ethan Crumbly made a video about killing classmates the night before he is accused of carrying out a rampage that left four of his classmates dead and seven others injured. The Oakland County prosecutor says it is just one piece of a mountain of digital evidence in a case against him. Crumbly faces four counts of first degree murder and now terrorism. The prosecutor also says the alleged shooter's parents may face legal consequences as well. Florida State Attorney Dave Ehrenberg will be joining us in just a moment to talk about these charges. We're also gonna be taking a look at the warning signs in this case and talk to an expert who has compiled a database of mass shootings that includes the one thing many of these tragic events have in common. But first, we wanna to go to correspondent Kelsey Kirstein with the very latest live from Oxford Township, Michigan tonight. Kelsey. Marnie, law enforcement believed that if they didn't get there when they did to stop the shooting, that uh, Ethan Crumley may have had the intent to shoot more people. The sheriff's office saying that he was shooting people so closely, nearly touching them, that many of them probably falling to the ground, not knowing what happened. Chilling new details in the Oxford High School shooting. Two separate videos were recovered from 15 year old Ethan Crumley's phone. The recordings show the suspect talking about the deadly shooting the night before the attack with plans to kill students. Four counts of first degree murder, which requires premeditation. And I am absolutely sure after reviewing the evidence that it isn't even a close call. It was absolutely premeditated. And today, prosecuting attorney Karen McDonald now charging Crumbly as an adult in the massacre that left four students dead and seven others injured. We have recovered 30 spent shell casings at this point by processing the scene, meaning he fired more than 30 shots. Deputies also recovered a journal in Crumbly's backpack detailing his plan to commit murder. But today, the prosecuting attorney says she wants the focus to be on the victims, not the suspect, to honor the families and the young lives lost. Among those who died, 16-year-old Tate Meyer, 14-year-old Hannah St. Juliana, 17-year-old Madison Baldwin, and 17-year-old Justin Schilling. The sheriff's office saying that the deadly shooting was no act of impulse. McDonald's office also slamming the 15 year old with an act of terrorism charge. What about all these other children? What about all the children who ran screaming, hiding under desks? And now both Crumbly's parents are under consideration for charges. The sheriff's office saying the 15 year old used a handgun his father bought only days before the shooting on Black Friday. The deadly shooting comes at a time where the U.S. saw 600 mass shootings last year alone. McDonald's saying we have to do better as a country. We're going to hold the people responsible accountable, and we're going to receive justice for these victims. The prosecuting attorney says this is still an active investigation. They plan to leave no, uh, no stone unturned. Now, the suspect was taken to the Oakland County Jail today, and if he's convicted, he faces life in prison, Marnie. Kelsey, there is some discrepancy about whether there was any bullying involved. What are you hearing? Well, the sheriff's office says today that he's seen no bullying in the case so far to provoke this attack. But I spoke with a neighbor of the suspect who says that he's seen he's seen that the suspect on the porch crying because he's been made fun of or he's been severely bullied. All right, Kelsey, thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.